So, I'm surrounded by lovely human beings that are Jimmy E. World, everybody. Hello. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. I feel like I have, um, what is it called, when Groundhog Day, when he's like, I'll check with the cook, do you ever have deja vu? Because we, I feel like we have been together in the same position at least two or three times. How many weenie roasts have you played? Uh, at least four. Is there four? four? I think oh, we, yeah. we're, we're sure four. that it's been three, but it might be four. We're not sure. All right. And how many times have we had a sleepover? Ten. Ten. Man, countless times. Okay. All right. It feels so good. It does feel so good. It feels better every time, really. Uh, well, that's what you say. I don't know about that. Can we talk <laughs> about what's happening on June 11th? Is it your eighth studio album that's coming out? Yes, our new album wow. is called Damage. It comes out June 11th. Can you, if you would, I know what, this isn't like a studio and we're getting all deep, but I would just like to know the process of making this, how different was it the last three, if at all? Well, normally the label faxes us sheet music and we have to learn it. <laughs> but since we made this record on our own, we kind of had to write our own shit this time. Okay. And normally they give you the lyrics and the music and you just said, yes, sir, right? Well, you know. I know that's not true. You have yeah, to it's say a, that. It's, it's, a little, want, it's a little inside business, <laughs> inside baseball right here. I don't know if everyone would be, if people are getting bored with it, you know. That's okay. Yeah. All right. So the process was a little different though, making it. Yeah. Yeah. We went to, we made our last couple of records at our rehearsal space in Tempe. And for making this record, we, we kind of packed up and moved to L.A. for about a month and worked out of a house, a house studio. And where in L.A. did you guys live? I don't need the address, but what city were you in? We lived we um, right across the street from the Grove. Okay. Like uh, Fairfax and 3rd, basically. Yeah, area. Like right in that area. And uh, we lived like less than a mile away from the studio, so we'd ride our bike or walk or, um, you know, it was cool. It was uh, our friend Al Johannes produced the record. He also engineered it, so and we recorded it in his house. So it was a really cool experience, and Al's a great guy, so it was, we had a blast. And did you come to L.A. specifically for Al, or you wanted a new vibe in L.A. as opposed to Arizona, your home both, state? Right? Both, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we came we came to L.A. because of Al, but we also, we've made records here before, and we felt comfortable. You know, it's like sort of a, as far as making records is concerned, like it's home away from home, home away from home for us. And were there any restaurants, were there any stores that appeared on your radar and you just kept going back to eat at those places where you were frequenting? Uh, you What's know, the name of that Mexican food place? El Compadre? No. Well, there was a, Del, while, Del we're Taco? Thinking of, while we're thinking about the Mexican food place, there was Del a burger Taco. joint called Golden State. Okay. Yeah, that, that was that amazing. Was that is amazing. That you should guys all check that uh, place out. Was it La Osra? Oh, man, it was so good. I mean, Anyway, we were listening to a lot of Guns N' Roses, so we <laughs> ate at Canners a lot. Did you really? Canners on yeah. Fairfax? Yeah. Yeah. I know they would go there a lot. Yeah, we were inspired. Do you know where Guns N' Roses had their first show in L.A.? Where? Uh, Dragonfly? Troubadour. Uh, oh. Troubadour. And that's where Troubadour is also where Cheech and Chong were discovered. Wow. There's a lot of history in that. L.A. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of history in L.A. And there's a lot of history in Arizona. Tucson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Tombstone, Arizona? Yeah, Flagstaff. Yeah, Flagstaff, northern where, where uh, Pluto is discovered. Is that right? By Percival Lowell. Yeah. Are you guys yes. from Flagstaff, or that's where no, you were no, raised? No, no, okay. no. We're, we're actually raised uh, kind of on the east side of Phoenix in a city called Mesa. I know Mesa. Isn't that table for Spanish? Yes. Yeah. I believe it is. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to go down the line. I'm going to ask questions, and uh, you can answer them if you want here. Um, let's go here. Breaking Bad or Dexter? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> All I right. Get, I don't get Showtime, so. <laughs> you get the, your band's done well. Option. I mean, we can get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to see the new Star Trek? I am going to see the new Star Trek. Uh, I saw it today, actually. How was it? I thought it was great. Did very J.J. Good. Abrams do it? Yeah, he directed oh, it. It's awesome. very good. He's the man behind Lost, and he's going to do the new Star Wars yeah, movies. Yeah, that'll be. I think that'll be good. All right, this is a very tough one. Do you know who Tan Mom is? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> of course. And would you, would, for $100,000, would you have a 10, 25 second tongue makeout session? Uh, <laughs> come on. Just, no. That's, no? A, that's a resounding yes. Because we have her here at Weenie Rose. No. <laughs> no, we don't. All right. This is a probably, you may say, I don't know, but is there a favorite band of all time that you have? For me, it's a it's a it's a it's a close in between REM and U2. All right, and hello, this is our buddy Robin here. Hi, Robin. Robin, would you like to be involved? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Do you like the movie Cocktail with Tom Cruise? Not really. All right. <laughs> but yes, uh, I like I love the music. 
Okay. Kokomo, right? Yes. That was my that was one of my first concerts was uh, Kokomo. Uh, Beach Boys at with John, uh, with John Stamos, Stamos playing playing, playing uh, congas <laughs> at the opening of Val Vista Estates. <laughs> it was a very exciting wow. show. That's that insane. There's, can I just? There, you're wow. wearing not only two headphones but two pairs of glasses. Do you have two watches um, on? <laughs> no, but uh, if you have any more, I might need next some extra gear. Pile it up. Okay. Jimmy, were you sad at the passing of one of the members of Criss Cross because they made us jump jump? Yeah, that was a big that was a big deal for a while yeah, there. That's sad. It is sad. We canceled band practice that day. No. Yeah. We okay. did. All right. Uh, do you like Belle, Biv, or DeVoe best? Biv. Biv. All right. If I said you had to go on a date with Britney Spears, how long do you think the date would last till you threw in the towel? Um, <laughs> Tom's getting all the really hard questions. Yeah, yeah Tom. That's not that. Uh, probably five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, I'd say five. What about you? What she put up? Well, she wore her um, "Baby Hit Me One More Time" or whatever it's called. This schoolgirl outfit, probably like maybe ninety-eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably about right. All right, and the last one. Here we go. I asked this one earlier to someone, and Jimmy, you're gonna do this. Would you rather go out with Dustin Hoffman as his Rain Man character, or when he was Dorothy Michaels in Tootsie? Tootsie? That's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> come on, what's your what's your choice? Or The Graduate. That's not that's not one of the options. That's not one of the options. Come on. I, I would personally I would personally say you'd go out with him in Tootsie because he's right. sane. You know, it's like no, I'd go out with I'll go without Rain I'll go to Rain Man and then hit up the casinos. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Because that's, that's a good smart man. what happens? You count cards? Well oh, he does. He right, does. he does. Right. But and you guys would wear matching suits, but just think if you went out with him in Tootsie, he'd be making all that daytime everyday money. So you could be living off him, her as well. How long is going out for? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, are like, you how long or, uh, <laughs> in, in this what if? I mean, how long is this period? I, mean, I got to know that to really give you a good answer. I didn't make a note of that, so I don't know. So summer fling? Or? But we have Dustin off in here. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy World, the new record is coming out in June. Thank you so much for Thank sitting you. here and talking to me Thanks and playing for the show. Us. We're excited. Thank you very much. And uh, it's K Rocket Weenie Rose 2013, everybody. Woo! All right. Ooh, 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 ooh.